Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Kash, how are you? I'm fine. This wasn't canceled today, was it? Did we just not get the memo? Um, I don't think it's canceled because it should have a meeting on my calendar. Is there any event or a holiday somewhere in the US or EU? None in the US that I know about. Not sure about okay. the EU or Canada. I, I, uh, I had a discussion with Taylor in the morning about some of the topics. So I'm sure he's, he was available at that point in time. Uh, I was assuming he'll be here. All right, well, we're five past. I'm gonna really quick jump yeah. on another call and then I'll swing sure, back sure. here in a little bit to see if it kicked back off or not. Yeah, sure. I'll just hang on, stay, stay, stay online for about a few minutes and then uh, drop off. All right, I'll talk to you later, bud. Yeah, see you, bye. Hello, Ben. Hi, Akash, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Fine, fine. I don't know, do we have a meeting today? Yeah, Jeffrey just uh, joined and then he left because my, uh, nobody else was there other than me. Oh, okay, sure. So I, yeah, and, and Taylor and Lucina are here, so yes. That's a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, Kelo. Hi. Hello. All right. April the 25th. There's no spots for names. No. How did we lose that? All right. Everyone can add their name, would be appreciated. <clears throat> and any agenda items? Does anyone have anything to add before we jump into the pull request? Thank you. 
All right. Well, let's see. Um, hey, Ann. Saw Jeffrey in the notes, but I don't see him here. So we'll skip Jeffrey's. Ann, do you have any update on? No, oh. no, I don't. Okay, Ben. Yep. Yeah. We'll jump into yours. Okay. Actually, you told me that there were people who had questions, but I honestly, I don't recall. Let's go into it. File changes. Uh, well, here's one that you respond to and then Ian, I don't know if, if you can look at this. And I try to remember. Uh, why is it red? I don't know why it's red. I guess that was it. That's the last one. Yeah, I, I also remember you were saying that uh, that I need to move this file to a different directory. Yeah. Okay. Too, but but then uh, then someone said that way uh, that's not that's okay. I'm just you know it's really not nothing to move it to some other directory. But just tell me okay if if to move it or not. Yeah, it it needs to be moved. So you have it under user stories. Yeah. But I but if I recall, I, I need to move it to um, not to the use case, but uh, Dogs. This one, CBPPs. Yeah, 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 CBPPs. Oh, okay. I will change it now. <clears throat> the other part was um, getting some references in. So I'm just going to go open the best practice itself and then I'll. Um, well, some of the other current best practices. And then I'll look at this. So here's yours. All right. And this actually seems like it's a set of best practices. Mm -hmm. Disabling anonymous requests, enabling audit logging. Each one of these would be best practices. This one has more details. 
So you see, you think it, it should be broken into uh, in, into different files? Well, I mean, it it's not that it has to be. I guess um, we've we had been doing that. So if we look at this one, mm -hmm. the, the main point would be how do you um, summarize and and then provide the other portions like what are the goal of that best practice? Then you're putting forward a proposal for the best practice, um, relating it back to user stories. So if all of them relate to the same user stories, it and they all have the same references, then maybe it can go together. It seems harder to put forward like the individual proposals. And then what if someone, if we say there's agreement on three out of the, was it five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, is that five, I think, or is this six? Yeah. I think this part of this. From the standpoint of these are security practices, you know, they fit together. But if I was just looking at this disabling anonymous request to the API and then mm -hmm. enabling audit logging, um, I mean, someone may, I don't know, have some reason to turn on anonymous logging, but they're big on, they agree with audit logging. It definitely seems like individual things that could be adopted. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the thing that which, you know, connects them together is really the API server configuration that I have to properly configure uh, um, API server. Um, but yeah, so it, for me, I I think that, you know, it's really, it's really your call because I, I don't really know, okay, what is the idea, okay, of, of ordering the things under, you know, under these best practices, whether you see best practice as a single, you know, configuration um, or single single statement, or or we want to, you know, to group them along some, you know, um, some common denominator. Um, but it's really up to you. Okay, how how you guys thought about this? So I guess there's. Um a few ways to come at this. If we're thinking of, we're recommending people adopt best practices, you can say, here's a whole set under here. And so they go, we've adopted all of the server API or we're doing it. We want to understand it. And it has enough information as a set, that's fine. If grouping it as a set doesn't allow you to provide enough information, you know, that would be a reason to, you can look at this one has a whole lot of information about just non-root. Mm -hmm. The other place would be when we're looking at, um, if, if you have anything that's checking to see if someone is following best practices. In that case, all of these will individually be checked. Mm -hmm. Now, you may group it and say, you must do these things to, for us to be okay, a set of them. But from the standpoint of testing, you're going to test each one, each individual thing by itself. Yeah, that's um, true. I, that you would test them, you know, individually. Okay. Right. That's true. So just from the idea of being able to discuss them, it seems like having them separated then you can talk about you know someone going in and having problems with one thing and you can point to the best practice around that one thing and the test around that one thing instead of the set the one place where i i would 
I guess I would myself, I would lean towards breaking them up. The one area where I don't think it's um, necessary and we've gone both ways is user stories. So like the supply chain attack, there's a whole set. So you could have user stories which are referenced by the um, reference by the best practices and they all share the same user stories. Like this best practice for um, no root in containers references a whole set of user stories. And I can right. see, and there's other least privilege um, practices that can point to those same ones, like don't set privilege tr to true for your pod. Don't allow mounting local um, host file system. Those could all be point to the same set of user stories. But talking about why shouldn't you um, mount the host file system there's besides the proposal like what it what does that encompass the trade-offs would be very different for not no root versus being able to mount the host file system for something for instance okay. references may or may not be the same on that Alternatives for that are definitely going to be different between no root and containers and not mounting the host file system, even though they may share references and share user stories. Okay. And then we also have um, use cases. So it's user cases or user stories. And some of these are, would be like an individual, a specific use case where it's defining um, where you're going to see some set of problems. So anyways, um, I think it would be better to have it broken up. Sure. I'm going to break it up. At a minimum, though, we want to move it, and you want to add references like yeah, this, I, I, and you want to add a link to some set of user stories. Okay. Sure. Okay, I will do. Trying to look, it may actually have, we may have some user stories that fit and otherwise we'll want to add some. You can check this one too. There's a lot of content in here that might be good related to um, what those practices. Okay. Ian, did you have a response to that one comment? Which one comment? Oh, I mean, uh, it just about it's, it's yeah. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're talking about sorting this out with justification, I suspect that comment will become irrelevant. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that any further right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can I just resolve it and let him move it all over and then we take a look yeah, again? Yeah, go for it. All right, so now you're clean, just move it all over.
I would suggest Ben move it to the correct directory. Start adding the references and look at user stories, and then you can split stuff up after you have um, some of the shared content ready. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we have right now. Um, I think we're more than ready to add some new best practices. Does anybody have any ideas for new best practices to propose? We had a whole list in this document. <clears throat> and then all the different scenarios and examples. How about this one? Applications in their own namespace. Name or, or the service accounts. What's that? Um, I see uh, uh, give each application its own Kubernetes service accounts. Mm -hmm. And but, but you also said the, the different namespace to each one. Which one you met? And oh, before. this is just a whole set. I'm just pointing oh, okay. out some. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. I dropped a link to this document, but you can see it. These are just ideas that we had for individuals. Um, I know that Cubescape covers this one, privilege equals true. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I mean, I, I'm go I hopefully I will finish okay this and, uh, and I'm happy to write another one afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Well, does anyone else to wanna help? Does anyone have an interest in this? All right. If someone does and reaches out, I'm willing to put some time in with someone to get some more practices in. Um, I know the namespace, there's been a lot of content about it. There's several tests out there that are around practices for namespaces. And The privilege, privileges, setting privilege equals true, that flag. Again, lots of content. The user stories are done. You point them to the that set of um, supply chain attack user stories. The references are a lot of the same references that are in the no root are going to be the same. All right, we can stop here. If anyone is interested or have some ideas, then uh, let me know. And I guess that's it for today, y'all. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good one.